Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. A U.S. service member has been wounded in a series of attacks on American bases in Syria. This picks up on what we were talking about last week. We are following a fatal drone strike on a U.S. base, killing an American contractor and injuring several others last week. In response, President Biden ordered an airstrike on Iranian-backed militias in Syria, which was carried out on Thursday. Yeah, this marks the first the president officially notifying Congress of the strike in a letter over the weekend. For reaction, let's bring in Tennessee Congressman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Congressman Tim Burchett. Sir, thanks for joining us on this Monday. Uh, Congressman, President Biden talked about the strike on Friday. Take a listen. To make no mistake, the United States does not does not emphasize seek conflict with Iran, but be prepared for us to act forcefully, protect our people. Sir, do you think the president's response was the right course of action? Well, first of all, we shouldn't be in Syria. Matt Gates authored legislation a couple weeks ago, which I'm, I'm a co-sponsor of, to actually pull us out of Syria. There is no reason for us to be in Syria, but we are, and Americans have lost their lives, and we have to respond appropriately. And, um, you know, that's that's what it, it, it's going to happen. I don't think too many of our foreign adversaries take us very serious right now. We have too many men in our military and our administration wearing dresses and doing crazy things. And that that's the kind of thing the international yeah. uh, media picks up on. But this group, the, I mean, they're a bunch of terrorist thugs and we have to respond. And it's a shame that America died. It's a shame that we're in Syria, actually. Congressman, I, it's, it's good to see you. Thanks for being with us on this Monday. Can you just explain for people at home why we are in Syria? That's a good question. We really don't know. Um, this is... This is uh, uh, part of the ongoing 20 or 30 plus year war over there um, that we are uh, assumedly uh, fighting the Taliban, which we've been told no longer exists, but then we're told it exists in some areas. And, um, and to me, it just feeds the beast. We need, to, we need to start focusing on things. We need to focus on our border, not the Syrian border. And I just, um, I'm, I'm disappointed that we're there. I wish that we would, would pull out of these foreign countries that we have no business in, have no... Um, when, you, when you sign up for the military, you hold up your right hand and, and, and uphold the, uh, your oath to the, the Constitution of the United States, and there's nothing constitutional about Syria. These people do not want democracy, clearly. Um, we need to bring our boys and girls home, yeah, folks. And I think it's pretty clear, given what we've seen over the last week, they do not want us there. Um, the Senate is set to vote today to invoke cloture on a bill that would repeal authorizing the use of military force against Iraq. Is that the right move? Again, if they, if they um, attack us, then we hit them back hard. Hit them back harder. We can't let that go. But again... Why are we over there? What is our what what is it it's to support the United States of America? It's about oil, more or less. That's why we're in these wars over there. That's the bottom line. Let's get our oil at home. Let's get it all from home. We can do it. We have hundreds of years of oil in the ground. We've passed all these incredibly crazy laws, environmental laws, to protect our environment, and all we're doing is getting Americans killed. And we need to we need to just do it at home. Yeah, that, you're so that, right. That, that, that's the bottom line. It's about oil. It's not about freeing these people. Yeah, and we do it at home. We do it cleaner, too, uh, than these other countries. Sir, uh, how worried should we be about the threat posed by Iran? I don't think very worried at all. Um, you know, we can knock them down. We know when they, when they, they step outside. Well, these guys are clowns. Um, they're terrorists. But, again... Um, with their nuclear, if they get nuclear power, then we need to worry about it. But having troops on the ground over in that area does little or nothing for us other than feed the um, feed a lot of people's stock portfolios. Yeah. And let's just be honest, both yeah. parties. Congressman, good yeah. to see you again. We'll pick this back up soon, hopefully. Thanks for joining us. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett there. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.